Dinosuchus, whose name translates to terrible crocodile, stands out as one of the most formidable predators of the prehistoric world. The discovery of Dinosuchus began shedding light on the ancient world of formidable predators. Fossil evidence first surfaced in the 1850s, with subsequent findings in the 1940s and 1950s, consolidating its reputation as a colossal crocodilian of the late Cretaceous. Notable discoveries include partial skeletons found in Texas and North Carolina, showcasing its robust build and immense size. Paleontologists like Edwin Colbert and David Schwimmer have played pivotal roles in piecing together the puzzle of Deinosuchus, contributing to our understanding of its anatomy and evolutionary significance. These findings have not only revealed the physical attributes of this ancient predator, but also sparked ongoing research into its behavior and ecological role alongside dinosaurs in prehistoric North America. Dinosuchus, known as the terrible crocodile, possessed formidable physical attributes that set it apart from its modern relatives. This ancient predator could reach lengths of up to 33 feet and weighed several tons, making it among the largest crocodilians to have ever existed. Its skull alone could measure over five feet in length, equipped with robust, conical teeth designed for gripping and puncturing prey. Unlike modern crocodiles, which have a narrow snout, Dinosuchus boasted a broad, powerful jaw that enabled it to tackle large prey. Its robust body structure and armored skin contributed to its prowess as a top predator in the waterways of the late Cretaceous. Through detailed analysis of fossil remains, paleontologists have uncovered these distinctive physical characteristics, offering insights into how Dinosuchus adapted to dominate its ancient aquatic habitats. Dinosuchus thrived in the lush, subtropical environments of the late Cretaceous period. Approximately 80 to 73 million years ago, fossil evidence suggests it primarily inhabited coastal regions and inland waters across what is now North America, ranging from present-day New Jersey to Texas. These areas were characterized by extensive river systems, estuaries, and swamps, providing ample prey and favorable conditions for this formidable predator. During the late Cretaceous, North America was teeming with diverse flora and fauna, including a wide array of dinosaurs. Dinosuchus shared its habitat with giants like Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops, indicating a complex ecosystem where apex predators coexisted. The climate was warmer than today, with fluctuating sea levels influencing the distribution of habitats and the connectivity of waterways where Dinosuchus thrive. The ability of Dinosuchus to adapt to these varied aquatic environments highlights its ecological flexibility and evolutionary success as a top predator of its time. Studying its habitat and environmental context provides crucial insights into the dynamics of ancient ecosystems and the role of megafauna in shaping prehistoric biodiversity. Dinosuchus, the formidable terrible crocodile, Iridem, was an apex predator of the late Cretaceous period, known for its impressive size and predatory prowess. Fossil evidence and anatomical studies suggest that Deinosuchus primarily preyed upon large vertebrates, including dinosaurs. While direct evidence of dinosaur predation is rare, the massive size and powerful jaws of Deinosuchus indicate it was capable of hunting and consuming these terrestrial giants. The diet of Deinosuchus likely consisted of a variety of animals found in its aquatic and semi-aquatic habitats. Fossilized remains and bite marks on dinosaur bones suggest it targeted herbivorous dinosaurs like hadrosaurs and ceratopsians, as well as smaller vertebrates such as turtles and fish. Its broad, robust jaws and conical teeth were well suited for gripping and crushing prey, enabling it to tackle even the largest of dinosaurs that ventured too close to the water's edge. Hunting behavior likely involved ambush tactics lying in wait near watering holes or riverbanks to surprise unsuspecting prey. The sheer size and strength of Dinosuchus made it a dominant predator in its ecosystem, 
exerting top-down pressure on the food chain and influencing the behavior and distribution of prey species. Understanding the diet and hunting behavior of Deinosuchus provides valuable insights into the complex interactions between predators and prey during the twilight of the dinosaurs. If you enjoyed this journey through prehistory, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest explorations of Earth's fascinating past. Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. We love hearing from you.